Okay, so let's get started with my favorite. So this is definitely one of my new favorites. It's by NYX. It's their HD Studio Foundation. Actually, beautyjoint.com sent this to me to try it out, as well as a couple other products. And I filmed a tutorial, and I uploaded it, and it was terrible quality. Like, the lighting was horrible. Um, So I've been trying this out for the past week and a half, and I really have been liking it. It definitely covers well. The only problem I have with it is that it was hard to find my shade. So they had to send me a couple um, shades that so that I could finally pick my shade, but I finally did, and I'm in the color Soft Beige. I'm wearing it today, and I really do love this foundation. I'm wearing it a lot. It, it's, it's very liquidy, and it dries very fast, so you kind of have to blend it in quickly, but it does cover well. I do use about two coats of it every day, though, so maybe it is medium coverage, but it does build up to full coverage, so I've been liking this for um, my new foundation. Also been loving this. I did like a haul of this and you guys told me that you didn't really like it that much, that you wouldn't use it on your face and stuff. I tried using, it's the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. I tried using this um, on my face all over and I didn't really like the feeling of it. It's kind of a weird consistency. It's very thick so it kind of feels like you're putting like thick yogurt on your face or something. As for it making my makeup last longer, um, I don't think it did anything special. So instead, I was told from one of my subscribers that I should try using it just on my under eyes um, to kind of fill in the fine lines and the wrinkles and um, not that I have wrinkles or anything, but um, that is what I heard that it's better for. So I did start using it like that for the for the past two weeks I've been using it like that and I really really like the way that my concealer applies over it and I use it every day. I really really like it. So I, I've also been loving the Lancome Benefit Multivital um, Daily Moisturizing Cream with SPF 30. As you guys, um, as some of you may know, I am going to go on a huge vacation with Matt in like a week and a half or so, and I really wanted to find a moisturizer that already had SPF in it, so I wouldn't have to do two separate steps of applying moisturizer and then applying um, sunscreen. So I ended up just getting this, and actually I got this for free because I went to Lancome and I spent over $30, so I got this like awesome package. It had like a bag in it, and then you can pick five samples. This was one of the samples that I picked out, and this is a actually a pretty big size sample. It's got 0.5 ounces in it. Looks like that. Um, very creamy. I love the consistency of it. Um, it's it's thick, so you kind of have to use a lot. But um, I really feel like it hydrates my face really well, especially for me, since you guys know that I have um, dry skin. The only problem I have with it is that is that it smells very strongly like suntan lotion. So if you don't like that smell, I would not get it because when you first apply it, it really smells like hardcore suntan lotion. But um, like right now, I don't smell suntan lotion on me at all. But when you first apply it, it is very strong. That's the only thing about it. So, I actually bought this yesterday, and I know that's weird for me to have it in my favorites already, but it is the Browsing by Benefit, and I got mine in the darkest color. I fell in love with this because look how cute it is. It has two little applicators, and then it has its own tweezer set. I used the tweezers today, and it works really, really well. I also used this today. This is the wax, and then that is the powder. I really like this. I have tried something like this, um, very similar to this from e.l.f., and I absolutely hated it. I, it turns out that I really, really like this one, and I like the way that it um, shaped, it made my eyebrows look. So this is my new favorite eyebrow kit right here. Okay, so I told you guys I went to Lancome, and I bought over $30. Um, I actually ended up getting the um, sample size of the Lancome Genifique, the Youth Activating Concentrate Serum, and I loved it. I used the whole entire bottle of it. It's taking me about three weeks to use the whole bottle of it. Um, the little sample size it only had like 0.25 ounces in it. I loved it. Okay, first of all, that stuff is like a miracle. If you guys have not tried it out, you should definitely at least try out the sample size of it because I have been using it for the past three weeks and I cannot tell you how dramatically different my skin looks without makeup. My scars literally have at least 80% diminished. I can barely see them. Um, I, I haven't gotten as much acne as I have so I know it's keeping my acne away if you have problems with that. And it makes my skin so soft and smooth looking. Like It looks like it's younger skin. Even though I am young, I'm only 21, it really makes my skin feel like it's new, like it's refreshed. It's youthful looking, you know what I mean? So I ended up getting the big bottle of it, and this is super expensive. I believe it's $98. I know I have saved up to get this because I love the sample size so much, and I use it morning and night. 
So this has been my new favorite secret for how I keep my skin so nice. And it's the Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I've also been loving this. It's the Milani Powder Foundation. I picked this up a while ago. I've been using it for the past, I think, two months. Looks like this. And actually, it takes a while for, for you to use it all because you only need a little bit. And I don't use it as a foundation. I use it to cover my foundation to kind of set everything. And I really like it. It hasn't been making me too dry because a lot of powders that I use make my face way too dry because I have really bad dry spots. But I also have some oily spots, and it covers... It definitely gets rid of shininess, oiliness, but it, it's not so much that it makes you dry out. So this has been my new favorite powder. So I also picked up this at Lancome, and it is their Color Fever Gloss, and I got it in Paradise Peach. This was actually just sitting out like on the tables, and I was like, ooh, this is a pretty color. I tried it out. I really, really, really like it. It's like a perfect um, light pink peachy shade. I actually like the applicator too. It's it's different. So that's what that looks like. Okay, as you guys know, I have been doing the trial run of the Revitalash mascara. I did a review on it already if you want to see that. But basically, um, I am into my, I think it's been like a week and a half. Eyelashes are so super long. They sent me the um, the growth conditioner for your lashes that you put on just at night. And then they sent me these two products, the primer and the mascara. To be honest, I feel like the eyelash conditioner is not doing much, really. I mean, I really don't feel like that is what is making my lashes longer. So that is the most expensive one. So um, you don't, honestly, I feel like you don't need to get that because it doesn't really, in my opinion, it hasn't really helped that much. What really is working is just the mascara and the primer in itself. It's not making my lashes grow longer, but for some reason when I apply it, it makes them 10 times longer than they are with any other mascara. So if you were to invest in anything from Revitalash, I would get the mascara and the primer. The primer is only 20 and the mascara is 24. And 100%, I will be repurchasing these as soon as I run out. I mean, it's my favorite mascara ever. So the reason I love these two is because, first of all, it has a really nice wand. It's like an hourglass shape. But I also, both of them are hourglass shape. I also love the formula in both of them. It's not clumpy at all. It doesn't run. Like, you'll never have mascara just, like, randomly underneath of your eyes. You'll never have the raccoon look. And I feel like when I apply it, it makes all my lashes the same length. So all the way around, it's like this rainbow effect. They're all the same length. They all have a lot of volume and a lot of length. And I, I just love mascaras. I can do that. And my favorite one before this was the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I do still love that one, but this one definitely beats it out at least by like 10 times. So these are my new favorite mascaras. Honestly, would highly recommend these to anybody. And I don't know, if you guys ever try these out, let me know how you like them and if it works just as well for you as it does for me. Blush lately is the Coralista by Benefit. Beautiful coral color. I'm not wearing it today, but I really do think this color reminds me for some reason of Orgasm by NARS. I don't know if it's just me. It really kind of reminds me of that color. A little bit more on the pink side. But that's what that looks like. And I just, I don't know. The Benefit blushes are my favorite. I feel like they last forever. They don't, like, become blotchy or anything like that. And they just have really good color pigmentation to them. And they work really well for me, at least. So that's my new favorite blush. Um, and then, of course, as you guys know, I use this all the time. The NYC Bronzer and Sunny. So far, this has just been, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to hit pan soon, but this one has just been my favorite bronzer ever. I feel like it just works so well for my skin tone. I think it works well for other people's skin tones, too, if you're more, like, olive -y color. And I just love that it doesn't get blotchy throughout the day. It stays where I put it, and it really does work well when I'm contouring my face, so love this one. And then from CoverGirl, of course, you guys know I had to have a CoverGirl lipstick in here. My favorite one of all time is the Romance color from CoverGirl, um, but I decided to try and find a new favorite. It's called Rich by CoverGirl. It looks like this. It's like a plum color. It's like, it's a perfect plum red. So this one has been my new favorite from CoverGirl. It's a perfect color to do like that pinup look um, or just to, I don't know, for like dressing up and stuff like that. 
Okay, and then lastly, I wanted to talk about this NYX blush in the color Glow. And this is just like one of their cream blushes. Got it from beautyjoy.com as well. And I have been in love with cream blushes lately because of my dry skin. I think it just works really well. This one is so pigmented, so you have to be careful when you're applying it. You, you just have to apply it in like dots on your face and then kind of rub it in. But this one is my favorite one from NYX from their cream blushes, so... Okay, and then lastly, sorry if this is long, but I use these beauty blenders from Sephora all the time. I got these, um, two of them for $25 at Sephora, and um, I just love the way that it applies my makeup. I feel like it applies it so smoothly and nicely, and it does work well with a lot of different consistencies of foundation. I've used it with a mousse. I've used it with um, a drier type of formula mousse. I've used it with regular um, liquid foundation. You can't use it with powder foundation, of course, but um, yeah, I've just been using those a lot in my foundation routine, so I thought I would mention them. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and please check out this makeup tutorial if you haven't already. I think I will upload it first. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys have an awesome day today, and I will talk to you later. Bye!